Hey folks, this is Ray from DCRainmaker.com. I'm here today to talk about Garmin's new Verb Ultra 30 Action Camera, in particular their new OK Garmin Commands. Um, what this allows you to do is basically talk to your action camera and tell it to take a photo or a video or even highlight special things. Um, so what I kind of want to do is to basically show you how well it works in different scenarios and somewhat back out uh, away from the camera and show you know, how far away you can get um, and what scenarios it works well and, and doesn't work so well. Um, so this works whether or not you're in your case or if you just have it in the kind of it's called a frame or basically a, a cage mount. Um, that way you don't have to necessarily have the bulk of the case, uh, but you can still go ahead and have the camera kind of accessible and on the mount if you wanted to put it on something. So I'm going to go ahead and basically set this up where I've got the camera on a tripod in front of the camera you're seeing on the tripod so you can watch the back of the screen and watch what happens when I give the different commands and whether or not it succeeds or doesn't succeed. Um, my mics are set up wirelessly, that way you can hear it from far away um, and we'll see how far away from the camera I can get going. So with that, let's start. Okay folks, so right now I'm about six feet away, about two meters away from the camera and I'm going to give this first command. Okay Garmin, take a photo. So you saw I took the photos right there, um, now I have it configured for two photos, so any sort of configuration that you have will follow up, whether it be for photos or videos, it's just going to do whatever you set up for before. Uh, so I'm going to back up a little further now. I'm about twice the distance right now, I'm going to say it again. Okay Garmin, take a picture. So we didn't quite do that at normal voice levels, so I'm going to kick it up a notch. Okay Garmin, take a picture. And it's still didn't quite here, so it depends a little bit on how clearly you pronounce something, so I'm going to try again. Okay, Garmin, you can see this reacted, so either the blinks of light there mean that it heard my okay, Garmin command, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to take a picture. So, okay, Garmin, take a picture. And there we go. Um, so I find that the clearer you speak, uh, and kind of the, the sharper you are on the okay, Garmin part, is what matters the most. So to back up again, now I'm at, uh, I'm gonna guess, maybe eight, 10 meters, something like that. Uh, and we're going to give it one more shot. So, okay, Garmin, take a picture. Didn't quite do it. Okay, Garmin, start recording. There we go, so that's how it went. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell it to remember that item, uh, so that way I can find it later on and highlight it. Okay, Garmin, remember that. There we go, and it went ahead and remembered that. Uh, and now I'm going to do a stop here. Okay, Garmin, start recording. And there we go, it went ahead and stopped recording. So at this point I'm pretty far away, I'm maybe 25 meters, give or take. Um, I'm, I'm quite a distance away, so I'm going to try one more time. Okay Garmin, take a picture. So you can see it didn't pick that up, it didn't pick it up, I don't think Garmin can. Uh, so at this point I'm simply too far away, I'm going to try one more time. Okay Garmin, take a picture. Okay, now that we're outside, I've got the basically two verb cameras lying face right in front of each other. So one of them is set to be static recording, the other one I'm going to do using the OK Garmin commands. Uh, so you'll see the first one here, I'm just going to let you know so you can see it. OK Garmin, take a photo. And there we go, it's taking the photo, uh, no problem at all. Now I'm going to do is basically start off just kind of riding here along. Uh, now right now I've got it in this, uh, the regular kind of simple case, uh, the frame case, and then we'll try it within the actual uh, waterproof case. Um, so you'll see here, we'll get going. Uh, no problem so far, obviously, because I haven't said anything, but I'm going to go and try it again. Okay, Garmin, start recording. And you can see it recorded right away. Uh, you know, I'm going, I don't know, maybe 10 miles an hour. Uh, not that fast. Okay, Garmin, stop recording. And it stopped, no issue there. Again, this is in the frame case, so we're not seeing any sort of outer shell that really disturbs my voice. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, to be honest. So now I'm going to get going a little bit faster here and then give the command again just when I reach the end of this kind of bridge. I figure that'll be a, a good place to do it. Okay Garmin, start recording. And you can see it caught it there again, no problem at all. Okay Garmin, remember that. And you can see it blinked the lights for remembering it. And we'll give it one more command here to stop recording. Okay Garmin, stop recording. And there we go. No problem stopping there at all. 
And again, I give a command, okay, Garmin, take a photo. And it didn't quite catch that that time. I may have simply said it too fast, so I'm gonna try again. Okay, Garmin, take a photo. And you saw it got at that problem at that time, no issue there. So now what I'm gonna do is to go ahead and look at what it looks like on the hard case uh, so we can see how the, the reaction time is once you put it on the outer shell. So give me a second while I do that. Okay, now we're all ready to go on the waterproof case. Now keep in mind the mics are in the front up here, so they're not really in the back, so it's not so great for this sort of thing. Um, it'd be better if it was on my head, for example, or something like that. Um, you're gonna see I'm give it an initial command. Okay, Garmin, start recording. And even going this slow, it easily misses that. So, okay, Garmin, start recording. And again, it's still having troubles there. Let me try again a little closer. Okay, Garmin, start recording. And it's just not picking it up at all. Um, and it seems like anytime I go faster than just kind of basic speed here, it drops. So if I go down super slow, okay, Garmin, start recording. There we go, it gets that. But again, it's not great. It's not terribly useful in this configuration. Um, I'm at speed now, and if I were to go and give a new command, okay, Garmin, stop recording. It just simply doesn't, doesn't hear the okay, Garmin command. It doesn't hear anything. Um, so again, within the... So again, within the hard shell case, it's just really not, not working terribly well. Um, when I get it in that frame case, it works really well. Uh, I was able to do it earlier, you know, upwards of 20 miles an hour easily, and it picks up my voice. But the shell case just simply acts like a giant shoebox for it and it can't hear my voice very clearly. So even if I were to get down right next to it, okay, Garmin, stop recording. It still doesn't do it. I mean, I'm basically like just kissing the thing and it's not really working. But again, within the frame case, it's great. So that's what I look to use instead. Okay, that's just a quick look at how well things worked on the OK Garmin commands. Um, now, as I noted, we saw the cycling piece. We saw kind of out here just an open area. Uh, I've also tried a trail running a bit and other kind of scenarios where I just want to take a picture. Um, overall, it works fairly well. There are those caveats, for example, cycling when I get above a certain speed uh, and the wind noise is just simply too great for it that it doesn't quite catch. Um, but in a lot of cases, it works well. Now, if there are those edge cases where it doesn't work as well, you still have a few options for controlling the Garmin when you can't actually touch it. Uh, the first is to use something like a Garmin watch or a wearable. So whether that be a edge series unit on a bike um, or a watch if you're just running around somewhere, uh, that'll go and trigger things as well. The next is to use the Garmin remote. Um, so this allows you to take a picture, stop and start recording. Uh, it's very similar to the GoPro remote, maybe not quite as versatile in terms of the settings that you can change, but it does get the job done. Uh, and both of these will work far further than your voice can travel. Uh, you're talking upwards of 100 meters, 100 yards or more, uh, pretty easily in most cases. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Go ahead and whack that like button down below, as well as the subscribe button, so you're staying tuned for all the latest sports technology videos as soon as I release them. Have a good one.